Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and today I'm gonna to show you really quick how you can enable Wi-Fi printing in Orca Slicer that will work on the Flash Forge Adventurer 5M. Now, this is for the release candidate of Orca Slicer. This is not the forked version that a community member created that enabled Wi-Fi support. This is a release candidate version that can very well be a part of the official stable release of Orca Slicer version 2.0, whenever it is released. So first, let me show you where you can get it. This here is the page that tells you everything about Orca Slicer version 2.0.0 for the RC release. And also special thanks to um, one of the viewers in my last video showing the basics of Orca Slicer for the Flash Forge Adventure 5M for pointing this out. This is a new release, just a few days old. So. I'll leave a link to this in the description. It'll tell you all of the new changes that have to go along with this, and then you'll be able to download it as well. And once you do get it downloaded and installed, let me show you how you can hook this up to Wi-Fi. So first, just so you'll know, I'm going to go to the about section here. So you can see that is version 2.0.0 RC first. First thing that you need to do is connect your printer to your Wi-Fi network. So if you haven't done that already, go to your printer, go to the network settings, put in the password for your Wi-Fi, make sure that you're connected. Then you need to take special note of the IP address that's assigned to your printer. And if you don't know how to find that, just click on the icon that's on the bottom right hand corner of the home screen. It's going to take you to an information page about your printer and it'll tell you what your IP address is. So write it down, take a picture, just make sure you have that on hand. Once you do, head back over to Orca Slicer Come up to the top for where your printer is and you'll see this Wi-Fi signal right here. It says connection. Go ahead and click on that. And when you do that, you'll come to this page and you'll see an option that says print host upload and host type. You'll click on that and you'll see that Flash Forge is the second one from the bottom. So it wasn't there before, but it's there now. Give that a click and then type in your IP address in the box below where it says host name, IP or URL. Once you type that in, you can hit the test button, make sure that your printer is on, and then it should say that the connection to Flash Forge works correctly. And at that point, you are good. You don't have to worry about these other options here. So you can hit OK. If you have to rename your printer to something else, then you go ahead and do that. I just made sure to call mine Wi-Fi so I can know that this is the appropriate profile to use. And now let's slice something and send it over to the printer. So this is what I'm gonna print right here. This is a storage box that can hold some of the tools that came with the printer, including the glue stick can go right here. You got a couple of different spots for different nozzles. You can put your Allen keys in here and your declogging tool. And it also comes with the lid that you can slap on as well. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find this. And the great thing about this is it doesn't need supports or anything. So we can just slice it immediately. And if you wanna know more about Orca Slicer and the basics of how it works, I just did a video on that. So I'll leave another link in the description as well as a card so you can head over and check out that video. So you see here, it's going to take me three hours and 43 minutes to print this out. Now I can go up to print right here. I can click this box here that gives you the options. It's going to be export to G code. But when you want to print, just click on this down arrow and hit print. And when you do that, click on print, it gives you couple of options. You can rename it to whatever you want, and then you can choose to either upload it directly to the printer or you can upload and print. The difference is upload and print is just that. It'll upload to your printer, start printing automatically. Upload means it's just gonna upload the file and then you'll have to manually start the printer. I like to level the bed every time I make a print, so I'm just going to say upload. So at this point, all I have to do is go downstairs, go to the file, I'm gonna tell it to level the build platform, and then that's it. So this is a really easy process. So if you want to start uploading your prints over Wi-Fi in a more official capacity for the Flash Forge Adventure 5M, this is how you do it. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you wanna see more videos about this printer, be sure to check out my Flash Forge Adventure 5M playlist. It'll give you all the videos that I've made so far about this printer and all the videos that I will make will also go there as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, take care of yourselves. Speak to you soon.